Pete Lockett is from Nottingham in England. He came to St. John, New Brunswick three years ago. He opened a fruit and vegetable market. Hello, everybody. I brought a grass to talk about today. Now, you may see this in your produce stores more and more frequently in the future. It's called lemongrass. On your fancy restaurant menus in Toronto or Montreal, on the salads or in the soups, it's called arugula. A-R-U-G-A-L-A. -A. It's originally called a Chinese gooseberry, but they, they changed their name to a kiwi fruit for, for merchandising reasons. It's called a Yukon Gold. What's special about it is it was developed by Canadians to be grown here in Canada, very suitable to the Canadian climate and the Canadian soil. Here's what they look like inside. If you don't want to use the whole avocado right at once, coat the other half with a bit of lemon juice like that and it'll stop it turning brown and black in the fridge. You know, sometimes cauliflower looks a bit wishy-washy or a bit pale on the plate. Ooh, put on a bit of brock of flour, adds a bit of colour there. Pine nuts, an exquisite little nut which is available all year round, usually found in your specialty stores. What is a pine nut? It's the nut at the centre of a pine cone. Anyway, back to reality. Curly kale is an excellent garnish. And although it's not really nice to eat raw, and the only problem with pomegranates is how do you eat them? Well, if you've never had one, this is what they look like inside. They follow this white flesh and all these red juicy seeds. You want to try get some cream cheese, about five or six of these, a bit of Parmesan cheese, a splash of olive oil, bang it all in the blender, and then add some fresh chopped basil for a beautiful, tasty dip. You can make soup with them, you can do anything sun-dried tomatoes and it's some of the finest romaine for making the famous caesar salads i'm crazy about them and there's nobody better than my brother dave who can make caesar salads i brought him along today folks to show you how to make a new brunswick caesar the best i've got a great recipe by the way if you want to call me anytime dried cranberries little red niblets here we go for the tape about two dollars worth right here by the way mm. But anyway, that's my pick for this week. In, in a fruit salad, adds a beautiful additive, lovely flavour. In a blender to make tropical drinks, it's delish. Grenadier. What more can I say? This is Pete from Pete's Fruitique for midday. Toodly-doo.